Oh, it's uh, me again, and it's uh, in late in the afternoon, and it's miserable, and it's raining, and uh, it's time I thought I shall uh, do a quick gallop through what's in the uh, what postings have been made in by a blog today, um, and uh, there's eleven of them. Uh, it uh, it's. Uh, good old read if you've got the time and if you've got the interest. Um, so we'll go through them quickly one by one. Um, I shall have to put my specs on and have a look because I can't sort of well see. Um, the very first one um, is about uh, cyber bank robbers. That's crooks using uh, the internet type connections to get into banks and move money out of that bank into another bank and then they run like hell. Um, we're helpful, they, they help, can't be uh, found and caught and uh, brought to task. Um, well, I, I, I have no sympathy and no, don't choose to glorify the people who are doing it, but it seems to me that the bank have not got their security um, uh, up to scratch and uh, they should do a bit more work. They make enough blooming money, but there you are. So that's uh, cyber security and uh, it's, what was it, a billion dollars, uh, a thousand million dollars have gone uh, due to this particular scam. Well, the second one um, uh, it's, uh, uh, I can see it says a bit wacky, but I can't, just, uh, oh, driverless cars, not owned by anybody, not owned by any big corporations, not owned by human beings, could start and have children, well, that, uh, I'm sure that's right, but. I don't know, I think they've gone off the... I can't get my head around it, so uh, that's why I say it's a bit wacky. Uh, maybe there is some uh, sense or comment in it. It's not a very long read, and it, it's sort of interesting. It shows a couple of famous... Um, uh, they might believe cars, but famous cars that have appeared on film. There's a, a Volvo VW... Uh, not, a, not a Volvo VW... Uh, uh, Volkswagen, uh, one of the old, uh, I don't know what you'd call them, the, the sort of bubbled, uh, bubbled shaped ones there. It, it's worth a quick peep if you've nothing better to do. Um, and next after that, um, uh, Mr. Bill Gates, God bless his cotton picking socks, is uh, offering his opinions on uh, education and uh, Everybody uh, tends to be, it's, well, they seem to me to be a bit scornful of uh, of uh, Bill and Belinda Gates' pronouncements, but when I look at them and think about them, I think, you're a clever man, mister, and there is something in what you say. So I, I confess freely that I haven't followed all the links in the article about it, but... Uh, I will do before the week's out, and uh, I'll see what he's saying. And uh, that's uh, Mr. William Gates, uh, the ex or the founder of Microsoft. Um, so uh, there you are. That's that one, and uh, we've got uh, uh, yes, we've got some chap. Uh, uh, in some university somewhere um, saying he's developed a cream to remove tattoos. Well, uh, my reaction is if you're daft enough to have a blooming tattoo done in the first place, then you deserve all that you get. At the present moment, I seem to remember the only way of getting rid of them is by laser treatment, which I understand is a bit painful and... Uh, uh, is a bit sharp and removes them. Uh, then uh, we've got uh, three uh, funny 
Falstings, they came from a chap I know in Brightlinster in Essex. Uh, they they all made me chuckle. They're not uh, offensive or near the mark. Uh, and, and some of them you might say are too daft to laugh at, but uh, I uh, little simple things please this simple mind. But there you go. Then we had another spate uh, just a few minutes ago. Um, and... Uh, I can't remember again. I shall have to have a look. Um, uh, yes, Mr. O'Sullivan, stunning snooker player, there is no doubt. Uh, Lycan's um, playing at a venue in Newport, at the Welsh Open. No, he's, it's moved away from Newport. It's gone somewhere else, and he said it's like playing in a barn. And <coughs> he doesn't like the idea of people being able to move around while the snooker match is on. And, uh, it, uh, yeah, it's all getting too serious. Uh, mind you, it's a big money game and uh, there, there are bound to be some, I don't know, opinionated or uh, prima donnas call them what you like. Uh, so that's Ronnie moaning. Uh, I notice he won anyway. Um, and uh, then uh, there's an article which I, I tried to read, but it made my head hurt. And I thought, well, it may be of sufficient uh, interest and importance to some people. Apparently this, this sort of thing happened in 1988. Well, I was alive then, but I don't remember it. And uh, apparently, um, if prices fall, then that's called deflation, and there is a risk you can get into a, a self-perpetuating, uh, um, what do you call it, spiral, which causes you to um, disappear of your own fundamental orifice. Apparently, it's not a good state to be in. Well, I don't know about that, but uh, and it makes my head hurt even trying to think about it. Uh, but it might just uh, sort of interest somebody. Next, uh, I, I buy quite a bit of stuff from Amazon, and they come up every time I'm on the checkout and say, do you want it next day? Have a free trial for Prime, and uh, we won't charge it till a month has passed. And uh, apparently some people are saying yes to it and not realising that uh, if they don't want to pay 79 quid a year, they've got to cancel it before the month ends. Well, I, I'm sorry for them, but they should read, shouldn't they? And I, I mean, it is clear in my humble opinion that uh, what you're letting yourself in for. And uh, <coughs> then finally... What's the word? Apocalypse. Uh, there's some uh, some geezers in in I can't remember whether it's Oxford or Cambridge have thought up twelve things that could end civilization as 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 we know it. Well, <laughs> I I say not while I'm alive. And if you think about it, that's a silly comment on my part. If if one of the twelve things happens and it kills everybody on in the world, well, it wouldn't be while I'm alive, would it? But there you go. Anyway, that's a quick gamble through the postings for today. Um, uh, thank you very much for watching, and uh, I shall leave you in peace now. Goodbye.